and sleep late Sunday morning. Yes, Polly. Not you, though. No, Polly. You have to be different, don't you? Yes, Polly. I don't know what you see in it. No. All right, lads. In your own gateways. Good lads. Can't you strangle each other at home? That's why your fathers pay rates. Right. Move. I said move. I can't say it again. Move. I count to five, then that's it. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Right. Lord Longford. Good God. Have you seen who's reffing? Same for both sides. It's blinding both eyes. Blinding both eyes. No. Have we got a full team? I really do. No. Oh, no. It's a bit like a goalkeeper. Is that you? 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 Who is that? Who is Oh, oh. 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 Go on, Sam. Well, you know, it don't work, not with Lord Longford. Right. It never has before. It's worth a bloody try. Away you go. He might report me. He's threatened to before. Well, threaten him back. Put the fear of Christ up him. How do I do that? Stare him out. Morning, Mr. Armistead. Oh, thank you. I've not offered you one yet. 
Offer me a what? A cigarette. I had no intention of doing. Good. Do you fancy some chewing gum? Good morning. Oh, nice to see you again, Mr. Alvestad. Brought my own lemon, thank you. And never, imbrication. I never said a word. Nobody offered you a lousy lemon. Would you like to go before the League Committee? Would you like to go to hell? I've been, laddie. That's what I'm doing here. Ball. No corner flags again, I notice. It's the last time I'll lend anything to the YWCA. pearls of wisdom from one who knows. What we're now about to witness is called a football match. Not the beginning of World War III, not the destruction of the human race. A football match. In it, each of the teams will attempt to score more goals than the other. What are you looking at? Not much. That will be done by kicking the ball in the net as opposed to kicking other people in the crutch. Right. Great. Thank you. Should we start? We're going to stand here and freeze to death. If I see a good, clean exhibition of football skill, you won't know I'm here. If, on the other hand, and acting according to the new gospel, according to Lytham St. Dan's, as any foul tackles from behind, shirt pulling, swearing at me, dropping dead with St. Vitus dance because some other player accidentally looks at you, out comes my little book, and in it goes the name. Arguing with the referee will naturally not be tolerated. Well, who the bloody hell's arguing? Are you trying to get yourself in the Guinness Book of Records? The only player to be sent off before the game's even started. Like a bloody tape recorder. Did you speak? No, I was yawning. Heads or tails? Tails. Heads it is. As we are. <sighs> May the best team win. Why? Fellas, you can lick this lot. No bother. Come on, back. Now go for that ball, lads. Hungry for the ball. Play football and the goals will come. Good lad, that's the idea. Come on, lads, move about. Make you look like bloody idiot. Yes, come on, have a go. He's been off it for a week. Off what? You know, saving his strength for today. So he says, lousy pig. For God's sake, ref, obstruction! Blatant obstruction! Who's down? Ronnie, right in the doings. All right, you can get back. He's in bloody agony. Yeah, Secretary to the Year Award, 1971. <sighs> But that's hurt. Mm, childbirth's never pleasant. Off. Be fair, ref. I said off. You can get up now, you've got your free kick. And you lot, get ten yards back. I said off. Yes, I heard you. Magnificent. Referee's authority, wonderful sight to see. I'm warning you. Right, uh, yeah, I'll be okay now. Be fair, ref! Oh, hello. First cocker of spring. I've got a free kick. What more does he want? The British Empire medal and a visit to match of the day when it's in his area. Best fair, fair, ref! Same old song. Second verse, same as the first. Bring on the dancing girls. Slice it for a goal kick and scream for a corner. Boot it into touch and claim a throw-in. One day, a player will come up to me and say, uh, excuse me, ref, you probably didn't see it, busy as you are, but I've just kicked their striker in the calf. <laughs> 
It's preying on my mind. So would you care to take my name? Please. Well, I'm not supposed to be a park keeper. It's his job. Not going fishing in Cheshire with his dirty boots and his bag of worms. You do the pitches, Norman, he said. You can watch the football. If I was interested in bloody football, I wouldn't be a park and gardens department employee, would I? I wouldn't be a bloody footballer. <laughs> what? Calling for the ball without calling the name of the man in possession. I called his name. No argument. I called it. You can go funny with too much imagination, you know. You can start wearing ladies' hats in Market Street. I even called the other lad's name before that one got it. Thank you. That's an even bigger offence. He's playing for the other side. He's not the only one, is he? Any chance of a game of football? In association football, we have rules. We call them the rules of association football. Being fair doesn't mean being fair to you. It means being fair. Understand? No? No. Oh, ref, come off it! Play it on. God, that's it, now throw, now you throw. Now get to the midfield, lads. Dominate the midfield. Like I showed you, go on. Well done. Right, striking hard now. Take it in, take it in, lads. Run into the space, Freddy! Together, lads. President Nixon. President Nixon. And I thought America and China were bitter enemies. Well, it's what they call ping pong diplomacy. I mean, that's the expression they use. And the Russians have got the needle. Oh, naturally. They've been daggers drawn with China ever since Khrushchev denounced them at the 21st Party Conference for revisionism. For what? Well, it's an expression they use. They're suspicious of the Western Bloc. Ever since Yalta. Since when? Yalta. Is that another expression? Another conference. We seem to be better allies with France these days since old What's-His-Name died. Well, with the advent of the EEC. Ooh, dear. Of course, you know what happened during the First World War. The French women put poison in all the wells for our soldiers to drink. They were on our side. Not the women. No, don't tug, sweetheart. That's not nice. Nice walkies. Great. By hell, they're a rough lot. Rough lot, aren't they? Kick anything that moves. They'd kick their own grandmothers. Never heard of sportsmanship. Get him down, Tommy. Go for his left kneecap, the one with the bandage on. Go for his left kneecap. Good lad. Good lad. Piccadilly Gardens, that's where I should be. Planting chrysanthemums. I told them that the Labour exchange. 
no one listens. Don't think. You can watch the football. Silly son. He's scared to be here, that's what it is. When they try and pinch the goalposts after the match. You come back with them goalposts. I know what team you play for. I'll tell the police. Silly old fool. It was a police detective that was pinching him. That's never straight. Come on! Oh, that section. Where's that section? Oh, no. That's right. Come on, let's just get out here. Well covered, John. Straight on the middle now, John. Good long ball. Use the link, man. Good luck. That's it. That's the play. Lads, I, you can do it. Oh, for Christ's sake. Come on, down the middle with it. Tickling you. The bad bounce, that was all. It wasn't my fault. No, it was a nice shot. Magnificent marksmanship. Wonderful sight to see. Another inch to the left, you'd have had it rolling down the M1. And could you do better? <laughs> I wish it was your age, laddie, that's all. You never have been, mate. We had a thing called skill. Different game today. Different world. <laughs> Different world. Different world altogether. I'm ball referee! He handled it, ref. Oh, play on, play on. Oh, come on. He oh, it oh, bloody never, never. Accidental. Where the hell were you looking? Don't be so cruel. I'm old enough to be their father. Then there's Japan. Very touchy about him going to China. Oh. Ping Pong's right. Old Emperor Doodah coming over here to visit the Queen. Soon forget, don't they? Forget what? Like Germany. They're our allies now. Young boys go over there for holidays. Wasn't much of a holiday for their fathers. Oh, born at the wrong time. Oh. Ping Pong. My next door neighbour's booked for Northern Ireland. <laughs> Football's not back already, is it? Oh, I get sick of it. Malcolm Allison wears nice matching shirts and ties. Get him apart, Alex. Get him apart. Get him apart. Like animals. Come on, both of you. Come here. Come on. Right. That's it. Come here, both of you. Come on. That's final. Spend the next Sunday morning in church. Both of you. It's the first time in your lives. You certainly won't be allowed anywhere near a football. It was pulling a shirt, so I'll be back. It was retaliation. Subsequent to constant provocation. Thank you, Bob Wilson. Another two minutes and he would have had me down to me jockstrap. Names. It was easy at the moment. A technical foul, that's all. I'm not giving way. I'm not giving way. Names. Keep your mouth shut. Say nothing. Did he pull your shirt? No, Ref. I wasn't asking you. Did he pull your shirt? No. Okay. Were you retaliating to constant provocation? No. Now, look here, the lot of you. If you want to play this match according to the laws of the jungle, I'm abandoning it. Right? Right? Couple of orangutans fighting over a bloody banana. This is a Collyhurst and District Third Division League match. Not Custer's last sodding stand. They're only lads, Mr. Armistead. Just lads, that's all. Look, we live in a civilized society. Even two year olds know the difference between right and wrong.
We play as a team. With teamwork. Teamwork and skill. Right, listen. Always leave at least staff what's in the wallets. If there's three quid, just nick one. Same with any loose change in the pockets. Why? Because then they're not sure it's missing. Oh. So we'll have a bounce up. Ball, please. Uh, and don't think I've given way, but I haven't. I'm respecting you all as footballers. And you just respect the laws of the game. Respect for each other. Respect for the referee. And we'll all profit by it. Right. Good. Oh, you're too bloody slow, Joe. You'll have to come off the beer. Yes. Who the hell's does he do? Don't you get your kid, Come on, get one! Come on, you're getting the whack! Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Have a do! Have a do! His whistle mad. Hey, Roddy Ronald, get on with the game. He's whistle mad, isn't he? Talk about Ronnie Ronald. Oh, ref, are you the goalkeeper? He ain't done nothing. Oh, go away. What? Are we ever going to have the pleasure of seeing you take this goal kick? We'll take it. Oh no, ref, I think it's my leg. I can't walk fast. Biggest crime of all, time wasting. More than a crime, a sin. Wishing your life away. And that's more than a caution, laddie. That's a philosophy of life. Nearly half time, anyway. Be half time when I say so, when the 45 minutes are up. It's nowhere near half time. <coughs> half time. as well. We must have somebody else up there by that. It's bloody shocking. Across now! Over! Bloody hell! Strike the ball, I suppose. Come on! Come on! Look 
local player better than me, well, is. Head it in, not it in, handsome. Go on now, go on. Oh, you great big fairy. Go on, get the ball. I think I'll stick to me pigeons. If, if I didn't have a gammy leg, I'd do it perfect. And if, if I did it perfect, did say, oh, gracious me, we can't have that. Let's put him on planting croissants in Piccadilly Gardens. And if I, was, if I was brilliant at that, he'd say, oh, gracious me, he's brilliant at gardening. Let's sign him on for Arsenal at centre forward. And I'd say, stick it, sweetheart. I'm not interested in football. Well, I'm not. None of the like. That's how I broke my leg in the first place. No! Yes, yes, yes. Two yes, ball. Yes. Two ball. Oh, oh, oh God, I'm on. Come on, Albie. What time is no it? I have no idea. You know we've been Inside stood now, here. Inside now, lovely. Come on, Albie. That's it. Clear the ball on the field. Put the field. Make the ball go. Come on. I didn't have a late night last night. I know. That's the trouble. I feel like I've been through the mill. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, ready. Come on, ready. Oh! No good. No good. Keep the ball moving. Get them, get, 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 Mark the post, the far post. Oh. Damn. Hellfire and damn. Pig's bummy's pork. You know I don't like you swearing. Oh, you've come, have you? When the game's half over. You told me not to come at all. Because you said you wouldn't. Because you told me not to. Why have you then? Because you won't do as I say, or because you tell lies? Come on, Stuart! Come on out, quick! Get ready! Get out of here! Good. Take a long word! Move it! David, David! 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 Come on! Come on! Come on! Come It was you that was obstinate at the party. You'd been obstinate all evening. Only after you'd been obstinate at the party. You should have said you were sorry when you had the chance. Well, I'm here now, aren't I, silly? Halfway through the match. Proves I'm sorry. Two wrongs don't make a right. Everything bar score, it's heartbreaking. Breaks your heart, doesn't it? Oh, classed and we should be five up at least. Different class. Should be winning five none. Oh. 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 ball, it come off him, ref. It come off the straight man, ref. Oh. Right, mark a man, fellas, now, come on. Nasty ball. Mummy carry you. Blooming ruffians. Then there was Cyprus a few years back. Your Mary's Arnold. Mm. Killed by terrorists. Archbishop Macarius. Everybody, all the cartoonists making him out another Hitler. He looked a villain with that beard. Oh, not now, though. Best of pals. He comes visiting the Queen as well. Must seem a bit puzzling for your Mary. A bit late in the day for her, Arnold. Mm, poor Tommy. Nasty men. <laughs> oh, Please don't mad ref, he's on us on our man! For Christ's sake, on your bloody eyes! Gotta go land the rules. Mary's Arnold was under age when he joined up. Joke, isn't it? Altered his birth certificate, get his death certificate. Go to him, go to him, go for him. Take him off! Go to him, go to him, go to him. Go to him, go to him, go to him. Go to him, go to him, go to him. Go to him, go to him, go to him. Go to him, go to him, go to him. Go to him, go to him, go to him. Go to him, go to him, go to him. Go to him, go to him, go to him. Go to him, go
we should have a cricket score here. That's life, isn't it, lad? Oh, can't you give us one? Well, well, that's wishful right? thinking. That's a jinx on that ball. You can't blame that. Blame the patron saint of football. Who's that? Mephistopheles. Who's that? Come on, come on in! Nice ball, son. Use it. Bad luck. Be a decent player, that kid, if he wasn't so... That's a foul. Oh, forget it. He clobbered him a minute ago. Mind you, he deserved it for calling him what he did. But then again, he got called it himself in the first half. This is circle. So where do you start? Tell them to play the game. Play to the rules. Half of them's probably been on the dough for 18 months. Find the space, lad. Now shield the ball. Hard luck. Of course I should have a cricket score. But that is life. I wasn't wrong. Not that it ever sinks in. And all you can do is tell them to be fair. He's never won a football match yet, mind you. Never won anything. They might not know Mephistopheles, but they know that all right. Been out of nappies long enough. What can they do? Blame the ref. Yes, lads. I know being fair isn't fair. Any day of the week. That's why we turn out on Sundays, hoping this time it will be. It never is. But we hope. The beauty of football, we used to call it. Are we friends again now? It's up to you, isn't it? You're the one that's sulking. Hey, when? You never dance with me like you were with Alan Potter. You never look at me like you did at that bird wearing no bra. Only because you danced like you did with Alan Potter. Doesn't that prove something? No. It does. It proves that... Get out! 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 One of them days, we're just not getting the run of the ball. Come on, Albion, you've got nothing to beat. I didn't know you were a comedian as well. Hey? They're all over us. You're making us look sick. Whose side are you on, anyway? Well, they are. Why are they? Because they're a better rotten team, aren't they? What's the score, then? Just because there's no goals doesn't mean there shouldn't have been. You're winning. Why? Are you interested? If I wasn't, I wouldn't ask. If you were, you'd have asked as soon as you got here. It's no, no. I'm not interested. First time, Watson! First time! First time, Watson! First time! Pull it over, guys! Pull side, referee! Oh, dear, dear. Again, for God's sake, it's like a madhouse. It's like the world's gone mad. Like a flaming madhouse, isn't it? Do you have to repeat everything I say? I don't do. All the time. Every syllable. No, no, no. I just happen to be agreeing with you, that's all. I share your opinions. That's not agreeing, it's sucking up. That's it, tackle it! Oh, come on! I don't suck up to no one, I don't. Never have done. To me, every Wednesday night at training sessions, every Friday night at planning and tactics meetings, every Sunday morning, Ball. I just said we're outclassing them and we should have had five in. You know, the world's gone mad. Well, that's what I said. Yes, agreed. I just happened to say it after you did, that's all. You're an old man, Sam. Too old for this caper. You're 50 years too old. I know my football. I've got an old head on my shoulders. 
got to hold bloody shoulders. So Billy Meredith, I did. I'd rode. Hunt wing for City with a toothpick in his mouth. He always played with a toothpick in his mouth. Go on up. What's that got to do with it? We happen to be playing 4 3 3. It's deliberate tactical strategy. We're playing it tight at the back and waiting for a quick break up front. We must be quick. I haven't seen one yet. We haven't had one yet. We're pacing our bloody selves. You're just biased. Come on, lad, what are you doing? You don't know what it's all about, do you? Oh, poor little love. See how he keeps looking at that ball? He's disturbed, you know. It could disturb him for life. Oh, oh now don't do that to your Auntie Gwen. That's naughty. It was only playing. Still, that's politics, isn't it? Nothing ordinary people can do. Well, human beings don't matter to them. It's all money, power. No feelings. None at all. Ow! Oh, leave your Auntie Gwen alone. You see, he is disturbed. I mean, what do governments care about suffering? Nothing. Nothing at all. <coughs> oh, what? the matter, sweetheart? He probably stood on a stone with his little paw. Mm. Little love. That's it, now you're working well. No, never. One more like that, and you go and get dressed, bingo. I went for the ball. Uh, according to the laws of football, all you're liable for is sending off. According to the law of the realm, you get five years at least without remission. I accidentally nudged him. Grievous bodily harm before any court in the land. Now go on, get ten yards back. Go on, get it on the wing. Go on, have a dig. <laughs> Come on, give me the ball. No, ref, no. Take the kick on my say-so. Right. Go, go, go. Go. Now, ten yards back, I said. Get that gap forward. That. Ten, not two, ten. <laughs> A bit more. Or over this way. Come on, come on this come way. On, come on, come on, come on. Come on, get him with it. Glad you got him out of the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where I am. In there. Keep it tight. In there. Captain, please. Yes. Good morning. I want these chorus uh, girls standing here. Tell them. Oh, move back a bit, lads. Move back. Move back. Move back. Move back. Right. If you don't move from off that ball ten yards, I abandon the match. You're going to bend it round that far side. Look, I'll bend no, it. You're going to bend it. Yeah, it's it's five, then that's it. can see from here. I'm glad it's not a good one. One, two, three, four, five. Don't break. Whatever you say, don't break. Don't you abandon, abandon it, lads. Match yeah. abandoned. We will play the game according to the rules or not at all. I shall not have my authority flouted. That's it, isn't it? It's you that matters, you and your bloody whistle. What, me? You don't give a son about the football, just you. Just showing all the big cheese, showing everybody who's boss. It's the other way around. It's the other way around. It's completely the other... I just want to be fair. Well, prove it then. Yeah, prove it. Go on then. I'll accept your apology. I have to be going now. I was only rotten to you because we're not winning. I know. And you did come to watch me. Yeah, I did. You wanted answer with Alan Potter because I was obstinate. Well, you say you're sorry then. I'm sorry, Gina. Say it again. I'm sorry. I accept. Oh, well, thanks for some lousy times.
Where are you going? Roller skating with Alan Potter. Well? Back to your positions. Direct free kick. Defending team, ten yards from the ball, and I mean ten yards. According to the rules, once the match has been abandoned, it can't be restarted, can it? Get on with the game! I didn't abandon it. I said I might. Come you on. never did. Don't argue with the referee. Come on! I kept my side of the bargain. Oh, keep it close. Back a bit, lads. Thank you. Face the ball, fellas. Come on! <laughs> Oh, definitely, they were never ten yards. Pay on, pay on. Anyway, you do your best. That's all you can do. Even painting white lines. With the same love you give to planting croissants. That's a satisfaction. Whitewashing every other bugger's mistakes. Go on! He's offside! Don't flag him offside, you won't call his one of ours! Take it, lad, take it. Take it, lad. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Well done, lad. Go on, you fago! He was blowing his nose. Yeah, I, I was blowing my nose. Well, what's your bloody nose doing up there, then, you flag for offside? He didn't. I didn't. Hey, up the referee's on his back out there. Hey, up the referee's on his back out there. How long was that out? A few seconds. I'll add five seconds on. Oh. It was no goal, it was offside. It was no goal, it was offside. It was no goal, it was offside. Well, ref, you blew for a goal. I blew for offside. You took your time about it. I was jostled by a player. I blew as soon as I could. Yeah. We shall now proceed to take the free kick. Sorry, I sponge your face now. What's that for? You could have allowed it. <sighs> An offside goal. Is that how you want to win? It's right, that's all. If you don't win, it's wrong. Yes, it is. No flaming justice. The other side's got a free kick. That's justice. Oh, you know what I mean. Yes, I do. Sick of bloody football. I'm bloody sick of it. You should hang your boots up, then. You shouldn't play. What? Well, why do you think I... I took up refereeing? I had promise, but for the war. Accrington Stanley once wanted me for a trial, 1939. I'd have been another Dixie Dean, they said, uh, once it filled out. They were bloody wrong then, weren't they? Big one down the middle, Fred. Come on, back the street!
Um, Ready? Uh, I don't exactly. Uh, oh, get your team back in your own half, lad. If for the kickoff. The kickoff. Yes, laddie. We always have a kickoff after a goal has been scored, don't we? Otherwise, we'd die of exposure. A goal's been scored. A goal has been scored. Are we winning one nil? You're winning one nil. Give a go! <laughs> You can't give up a goal. Goal. Ah, That's a goal. That's stupid. Law 9. Law 9. Paragraph B of the rules of football, published by the Council of the Football Association, patron Her Majesty the Queen, states that uh, the ball is in play at all times if it rebounds off either the referee or linesman when they are in the field of play. That's it's ridiculous. I mean, bloody hell is like satisfied. The ball didn't rebound off you. Oh, don't argue with the referee, lads. They don't want to send you all off. Uh, uh, They'd only uh, stroll up the field and tap another one. Well, look, ref, the ball didn't rebound off you. It was centred from the right, and you nodded the sodding thing in, deliberate. No, sir. And you're asking for trouble being on the field of play. The ball was centred from the right. I ran up with play, according to my duty. It struck me on the head accidentally as I endeavoured to get out of the way and rebounded into the net. Law 9, paragraph B, a goal. But you stuck the bloody ball. The ball didn't strike you. There are 11 men over there who wouldn't agree with that interpretation. Nor would the referee, acting in accordance with the rules of the game, be fair. Go on, Excuse me, Mr. Armistead. I'm not complaining, but it wasn't fair our goal, was it? Absolutely legal. Law 9, paragraph B. I see. Good morning. I still think it was unfair, really. Only in the eyes of God, lad. And he's needed new glasses for nearly 2,000 years. you about him? It was in the comic. Oh, I see. I've been guarding this place. Hmm? I've been guarding it while you've been playing. In case anyone breaks in and pinches anything. You get skinhead around here sometimes. Thank you, son. Five new pennies. Top. Hey, son. Another five makes ten. What's that for? Sunday.